honestly, it's just laundry. Real people do laundry, except, um, um, Jeffree Star, who I don't think has cleaned a shirt himself in three years. I didn't do laundry this time. My roommate did. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've told you a little bit about why we had to move the taxidermist. And me and my roommate know a, a few things now about predators and um, not eponymous predators from titular films. I, we need to talk about David Dobrik. There, there's something I do need, I've been holding on to and been wanting to talk to you all about. And I keep it to myself. And it's not the most important thing. But I but I need to tell you all. And this is something for David Dobrik himself. I find it entirely disturbing and uncalled for how your tongue is sticking out. I don't like it. I don't trust it. And I don't understand it. Just put your tongue back in. Put your tongue back in your mouth. All I see is 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 a tongue. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. I think that aside from all of the legal things that you've done illegally, the laws that have been broken, and awful, awful friends that you surround yourself with. I think it's very important that even uh, uh, there's a base understanding that you should keep your tongue in your mouth. I would think that this is, this is known. This man made literally millions of dollars. Millions of dollars sticking his tongue out. So I guess why not keep going? And now he is backed into a corner and uh, losing all of his sponsorships, rightfully so. And, uh, you know, I watched that second apology video and he must have a PR person telling him to keep his tongue in because it's unwieldy and shiny and plump and I don't want to see it anymore. I see more of David Dobrik's tongue in the last three weeks than I ever thought I ever would. Miley Cyrus's tongue has nothing on this guy's tongue. And frankly, I'm sick of it. I think it's disgusting. I was crying earlier. My roommate said, listen, you know about people who can't keep their tongues in the mouths. Go, go talk about it to YouTube. Go talk to your fans about it and get it off your chest. And I said, oh, you know, maybe this video will have a little different feeling. Because, you know, I like funny. I try and tell a joke. But, you know, sometimes the satire goes over the top. And I'm not ironic. I, I'm not being ironic and I'm not being satirical. I want... I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I want David Dobrik to put his tongue back in his mouth and to never, ever take another photo w with it out. I, 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 there's a lot of things to hate on YouTube. There's a lot of reasons to maintain course. And um, I'm not going to budge on this one, guys. And if I lose subscribers or if I have a terrible dislike ratio. Listen, I'll keep my ratio on and the comments are always going to be on. But the this is I I have to draw a clear a clear line in the sand. Me and things that I can't take anymore. And I'm done. I'm done. Hashtag Hashtag put David Dobrik's tongue back in his mouth. Deaf noodles, I get all of my sauces from you. I watch you every single morning. But there's something not right. 
There's something not right. It's not right. So uh, watch it. Watch it. Because I don't want to start beef with you either. Unlike this beef that I'm continuing with um, Aaron Hansen. That's just continuing. And I don't, I'm not beefing with you, Def. But keep putting out videos. Keep making me watch your videos. And giving me sources. Now the part of the video that everybody has been waiting for. The food reviews. Uh, it's almost Easter time. So we went and got... They look like real eggs. They're not real eggs. Wouldn't that be amazing? A lot going on. Um, I've been wanting to try these. Sorry. So let's dig right into this food reviews. This is hard. Zachary, since 1950, right? 1950, Zachary, Easter Bunny Headquarters, Chocolate Covered Marshmallow Egg. Now, Zachary is the Easter Bunny Headquarters. Frankfurt, Illinois. So I suppose the way Santa Claus lives in the way Santa Claus lives in the North Pole, uh, so too the Easter Bunny lives in Frankfurt, Indiana. Wow! I can't wait if this comes straight from the bunny's hole. Uh, See, normal eggs aren't wrapped in plastic like this. That's how you know they're not normal eggs. They're a little lighter, too, than a normal 12 egg. Right, ready for the your other favorite? ASMR. Styrofoam and plastic. Everyone's favorite ASMR. Pop. See, all you got to do, you shove your finger in there. See? Pull it. Oh, yeah. Right, you think it'll look like a dozen eggs in the... Okay, I hope so. Should, uh, I can do it. Uh, let's open it together. How does it look? Wow! Like half eggs. You know, it could have looked a little more like eggs. But they're half eggs. Oh, jeez. Tell me this doesn't look... <laughs> Tell me with a straight face that this doesn't look like 12 eggs in a, in a container. Tell me. This aroma of chocolate egg. I hope they're, I hope they're good. Guys, guys, that is really good, guys, look, it's chocolate, and you crack it like an egg, and you can peel it like, like it's an egg, you peel it if you want, like a hard boiled egg, inside is creamy, dreamy marshmallow very sticky and then once you crack and serve the egg the way you would um, right in the mouth really good you can really tell that Zachary eggs come from where the Easter Bunny comes from so next year when things are open, 
We'll all go to Frankfort, Indiana and visit the Easter Bunny's office. Well done, Zachary Egg. A plus. A plus egg. Really good. It was really good. Zachary Egg. Mm. 